Hello everyone, this presentation is to share findings from an exploratory research project funded by three different um, organisations, the UK Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Councils, Centres for Industrial Energy, Materials and Products, CMAP, Designs Research Society, DRS, Research and Development Management Associations, RATMA. Firstly, the poster presents insights into our research focus on product repair and while it is a critical element in the journey towards a more sustainable future. Our explorations begins with the acknowledgement that the linear economy is inherently wasteful. The European Commission in 2020 has emphasised the need to establish the right to repair as a crucial step in moving away from this unsustainable model. Similarly, by 2019, right to repair legislation had been introduced in 20 states of the USA. This highlights a growing recognition at a legislative level that repairing products is not just a consumer right, but a necessity for our planet. Our research delves into the voice of the consumers. 80% um, of consumers, as reported by the European Commission in 2020, believe that manufacturers should prioritize making digital devices more repairable. This significant demand is a clear indicator of a shift in consumer expectations towards sustainable and repairable products. Let's look um, beyond electronics. A RAPS report reveals that in households, more than 160 million unworn garments could find new life if repaired. Additionally, um, approximately 50% of discarded furniture items are reusable, either in their current conditions or with minor repair work. These numbers showcase the vast potentials for reducing waste through repair across various uh, product categories. And lastly, according to the uh, European Commission in 2020, sustainable business practices are no longer just a choice, they are becoming a new norm. Um, for that reason, our research aligns with these visions, emphasizing that embracing repairable and sustainable practices is not only responsible but crucial for the longevity of businesses. In terms of research method, the research comprises of four focus groups in Nottingham, each lasting 120 minutes with 7 to 10 consumers aimed at identifying challenges and support needs in their repair journeys. Additionally, semi-structured interviews were conducted with um, 21 multinationals, national and local businesses across three industry um, to identify potential business activities that can support consumer repair journeys. Um, the chart show in the poster um, present the number of participants from each product sectors and the size of companies. Um, interviews include CEOs, customer service directors and sustainability manager. Let's have a look at our research purpose and key questions. Um, in our last research, we talked about how fixing things can be quite complicated, usually involving a series of complex decisions and actions for consumers. Um, we developed the consumer repair journey comprising of four stages. So the current research aims to address critical questions to enhance our um, understanding of and contribute to improve customer experiences throughout the repair journey. Um, so the three research questions are, um, one, what could be challenges to translations of consumer intention into behavior at each stage of repair journey? 
Um, secondly, what are consumers' support needs from manufacturers, retailers, and repair service providers at each stage of their repair journey? And finally, which business activity could support consumer repair journeys? The rest of the um, presentations covered three key findings emerging from our study. So the first one, um, a model has been developed to comprehend prepared behavior with orange arrows conforming into relations within the original theory of bland behaviors by Eisen's. Um, particularly, um, intention is influenced by attitudes and uh, subjective norm. Wise and um, perceived behavior can impact both the intentions and the trans translations of intentions into actions. Um, we can also see green arrows um, showing new interrelations discovered in this study with straight line arrows indicating strong impacts compared to dotted arrows. Um, Attitudes, subjective norm, perceived habit, and emotional attachment can influence both the formations of intentions and their translations into behavior. Um, moreover, perceived facilitating conditions uh, may also play a role in this translation. And then we have the second key finding which pertains um, to challenges in translating consumers' intentions into behavior. Factors such as a perceived and uneconomical repair cost, times consuming work and low expectations of product durability can negatively affect the consumer repair journey. Um, and then we've got our subjective norms, including of overestimations of personal repair skills and underestimations of repair time and costs may pose challenges. Um, lack of confidence in repair skill or knowledge um, as perceived behavior control can also hinder the translations process. We also found that perceived facilitating um, conditions, such as uh, the risk of avoiding manufacturing warranties, the unavailability of um, local repair services, spare parts or tools, um, the low queues for customer services, and the uncertainty about competence of repairers um, could present additional obstacles. The absence of repair habit or online research about repair um, was reported as perceived um, habit um, and uh, participants often abandoned uh, fixing products with no emotional attachments um, such as fashions or technologies items. The third findings focus on um, consumer support needs and sustainable business activities. Three key areas of support are identified. Um, the first one um, is on sustainable product features and design strategies. Um, that's um, considered the standardizations, simplifications, um, design for safe repair, uh, disassembly, um, along with common spare part and product scorecards. Um, the second uh, support that uh, should be considered is associated with enhanced communication methods, information packages such as um, diagnostics, um, repair and maintenance instructions, and um, recommendations for um, repair service providers, as well as customized um, messages. And finally, supportive um, services during product um, include um, repair tools, workshops, improved repair services, encompass offerings at local shops or customer homes, better lead times and quality measurements. Um, spare parts uh, should be posted to customer or collected at local dealers um, or um, there should be um, just in time logistics and multi stakeholder collaborations, um, including training and share data in order to improve the efficiency um, of spare part supplies. 
In conclusion, this study provides findings of factors influencing the consumer repair journey and business opportunities for the promotions of product repairity, considering different product sectors, um, including electrical and electronics items, clothing and furniture. It adds in comprehending the significance of product design, the availability of repair information and spare products, and the quality of after-sale services in um, shaping intentions to repair and influencing consumer behavior at each stage of um, their repair journeys. Um, the findings aim to provide guidance for industry professional to incorporate interventions that extend beyond product design and features encompassing uh, supportive services throughout the product lifespan to facilitate the consumer's repair experiences. Um, the business interventions um, proposed in this research could align with a uh, company's strategic efforts to embrace the right to repair proposed proposals um, and also uh, foster the growth of sustainable repair-centric enterprises across different product categories as the um, emerging standard for product repairity um, as um, mentioned above um, by the European Commission 2020 and in response to the recent code of right to repair EU 2023. Thank you for listening. If you have any um, comments and um, questions, um, please do not hesitate to contact me at the email provided on the slide. Thank you.